Hey everyone, we're back with another episode of the Basic Bogies podcast. Today, we have Rival Golf joining us and we have Taylor, the founder. Taylor, give everyone just a quick intro kind of about yourself. TJ, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for having uh, Rival on your podcast. This is our first podcast, so we're super excited about it. Um, I'm 32 years old. I've been golfing since I was 10. I was in the golf industry since I was 16, worked at Medina Country oh, Club nice. for my first course as a caddy, double looping these staff bags that these members thought that they should have. <laughs> uh, and then I went to golf school when I was 20, 21, uh, professional golfers career college, worked in the golf industry till I was about 27, became a general manager, got laid off from COVID, mm-hmm. Found a job in a different industry, but I always knew I wanted to get back to the golf industry, so uh, started Rival, and this is where cool. we're at. Yeah, and I, I feel like, when did you kind of start the company, I guess? Because I, I saw you first stuff probably like maybe four or five months ago, but I, when did you really start up the company? Yeah, we started, uh, I probably would say I started working on, on building it uh, probably last October, um, okay. but we didn't launch our Instagram till probably January or February, and we were taking pre-orders for about two to three months, and so we got our first official product um, May 1st and shipped everything out that we had for pre-orders. So we've been doing it for about four months now, and it's been really exciting. Cool. So why... Uh... I guess like the wedges are your main thing. Like you're starting to expand with other products, but why was kind of wedges your focus on what you wanted to create? So kind of the biggest reason was my buddy, he makes really good money and uh, he replaced his Vokey wedges with used Vokey wedges. And I'm, I'm like, mm-hmm. why'd you do that? He's like, cause the new Vokeys are too expensive. They're $180. I can get used ones for 110. And I'm like, but the whole point in replacing your used wedges with brand new wedges is so that you have new grooves. Because right now you're just replacing yeah. your used wedges with used wedges. And I was in the golf industry, so working at the golf courses, I knew that we bought the Vokies for $100, $110, and we resold them for 180 because we needed to make our profit margin. So I'm like, yeah, how hard can this be to go find a manufacturer that can make us a good quality product to where we can sell it direct to consumer and give – people who play golf brand new golf clubs at a good price at an affordable price rather than replacing their used wedges with used wedges so that's why we started off with the wedges um and what what do you kind of have like did you partner with like a shaft company or a grip company that comes on there or that is that all from the same manufacturer it's it's all from the same manufacturer so what we did was we went to 10 different manufacturers we had we sent had them send us wedges uh we went to the went to a simulator and tested out the numbers and we took the best wedge we hit about a thousand to two thousand golf balls with each wedge Mm -hmm. chose the best wedge they came up with the best numbers and that's the one that we went with and our manufacturers they're 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 very good they're very dependable awesome so what are like the different lofts that you guys offer on the wedges right now Sadly, we are just right-handed. We will go into left-handed, but we do have the 50, the 52, the 54, the 56, 58, and 60. We cool. are hoping to get into like the 46 and the 48 degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have the 64 yet. I know a lot of people are asking for a 64, so we'll get in there. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we, we want to offer everything, right? So that's why we also offer yeah. for the silver, the black. We'll get into the raw finishes in the future. We're just new right now, so we're, we're limited on what we can do. So as soon as we can start growing and expanding, the goal is to have a, a wider range of all golf equipment. Yeah. So like even like irons you're thinking as well? I'm trying to expand yeah, that so, way? Awesome. Yeah. So like what what I want to do is I want to be a Titleist, tailor-made Cleveland, Callaway, direct-to-consumer only brand, right? Where we offer yeah. premium product and we sell our products individually kind of like they do. Um, mm-hmm. But become a name brand that's an online direct-to-consumer brand, cutting out that middleman so that it's more affordable for people to play golf. Because that's really kind of why we're also doing this is to make golf more affordable and bring people into the game of golf. Because the prices of golf clubs right now are are through the roof it's ridiculous exactly yeah yeah my whole bag is all pre-owned um Mm -hmm. i have all everything's callaway rogue driver wood hybrid and then four down through pitch and then all my wedges are pre-owned just mix match 
you know, from Golf Galaxy. Because it's the same thing. It's like, you know, I, I looked at getting wedges, but it's like, they're, they're so expensive nowadays. And it's... They're like two hundred dollars you know? now a wedge. It's yeah. crazy. You got you got I won't I won't drop names out there, but you got putters for like six hundred dollars. You got bags oh, for yeah. four hundred and fifteen dollars. You got towels for forty five dollars. I mean, it's the price of golf products is crazy. And and, and PGA is doing this thing like, oh well, let's speed up the pace of play or let's bring pe- more people into the game of golf by telling them to tee it forward or not take out the flag, stick out of the hole, so it speeds up the play. Well, how about we start with making golf more affordable for people to get into the game of golf? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A little side story. So the, my putter, I bought it pre-owned, I think in 2018 and it's the mini jailbird putter that got really big, like a year or so ago when Ricky Fowler, when uh-huh. Clark started using it. And then those, uh-huh. I probably got it for like a hundred bucks pre-owned and then yeah. they started skyrocketing and those were going like used for like 400, 500. It was insane. Really? Yeah. And you're still using it, or did you? Get I rid still of it use it. No, <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it, but I just I've always loved that putter. It's the longest running yeah. club in my bag, and it's yeah. yeah. Um, so you're based out of is it San Diego? Is where you are? Kind of uh, Palm Springs, Palm Desert, La Quinta area. La Quinta is where they host the uh, the Amex tournaments. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're out, we're out here. So about an hour and a half away from San Diego, hour and a half away from Los Angeles, yeah. with less uh, traffic congestion and uh, cheaper and more affordable to live out here for sure. Yeah, yeah. How are the tea times there? Because I have friends in LA, San Diego, and that's you know expensive and they're booked out. And I mean that's just that's not helping the sport either. Just as like the clubs aren't in season, it's crazy because you got all the snowbirds out here. Um, mm-hmm. You got you got all the snowbirds out here, and uh, in season you're looking at two hundred plus dollars for a round of golf at a good golf course. And then yeah. um, right now in the summer, though, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Marriott Shadow Ridge. They got the summer program for ninety nine dollars, and it's forty dollars per round of golf to play from May to October. And it's uh, it's one of the best conditioned courses you'll play, even in the summer out here. It's great. Cool. And uh, what was like, I think the thing that really started to catch my attention with, with Rival is you started doing those like trick shot competition videos. Yeah. And some of the people that we've connected with were participating, like Kenny Golf, Swing That John, like those guys were in it. And yeah. I, I just thought that was brilliant to start, you know, that kind of social media yeah. contest. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing uh, kind of trick shots myself. And I'm like, well, I think it would be really cool just to have. My, the followers turn in their coolest chip shot to us and then not only is, would it be good exposure for for rival to you know be because rival is not just about me it's about it's for the people right and yeah. so if we could have our followers turn in their stuff for us and then we pick the top three or top four and then have our followers choose the winner i just think that's a win-win-win situation for everybody because it gives the people who are turning their stuff in exposure on, on Rival, it gives us exposure for caring about our customers, and then it gives the opportunity for our followers to choose who is the actual winner. Not, It's not like it's rigged or anything like that, and the winner's coming from me. Exactly. It's coming from the people. 